Sheboygan's dining options will be expanding soon. Two arrests after bank and robbery in Glambula. Two year old seriously injured in lawn mowing accident in Sheboygan County. These and other stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Monday, August 12th. 2019. A Sheboygan man is due in court on Wednesday to face 25 counts of possible or possession of child pornography. According to court documents, 60-year-old Eric Clark Geisen has been accused of possessing sexually explicit photographs of children, and each count carries a maximum sentence of up to 25 years in prison and $100,000 in fines. Geisen was charged last week in a case that was investigated by the Sheboygan Police Department. And the case gained ground with major evidence when police obtained a search warrant. They were able to collect a tablet and a computer tower from Geisen's home, where the pornographic images of the children were found. Geisen's bail has been set at $150,000. According to the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Office, a two-year-old suffering life-threatening injuries after an accident involving a lawnmower. It happened Friday afternoon, a little before two o'clock in the village of Hingham. Not much is known at this time, but police say this does appear to be purely accidental. The two-year-old was flown to Children's Hospital for treatment. An investigation is underway in Glenbeula after an armed bank robbery. It all happened around noon on Friday at the National Exchange Bank and Trust at 105 East Main Street. Police say the two suspects, both from Waupon, were quickly apprehended at the traffic stop in Washington County. A 26-year-old man was arrested for armed robbery and possession of cocaine while a 35-year-old man was arrested for a party to crime of armed robbery. No one was injured and the entire incident remains under investigation. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Office was assisted by the Menominee Falls Police Department and Washington County Sheriff's Office. Stephen Avery's attorney says an appeal is likely after judge rejected Avery's bid for a new trial. The judge Thursday officially denied Avery's request in the 2005 killing of photo photographer Teresa Halbach. Halbach's remains were found in the Avery family's salvage yard in Manitowoc County. Avery argued the state turned over bones to Halbach's family without notifying the defense, but the judge ruled that this does not mean that Avery should get a new trial. The Manitowoc County case received extra notary of after the killing was featured in the Netflix series, Making a Murderer. Plymouth will soon be getting a new hotel. According to Van Horn Real Estate, the project involves a partnership with Cobblestone Hotels. The new 55-room hotel is scheduled for completion in 2020. Van Horn Real Estate and Cobblestone Hotels have signed a letter of intent which makes the project official. The property will be located on the Eastern Avenue and will feature free breakfast, a guest laundry facility, a pool and workout equipment. Cobblestone Hotels are based in Nina and there are currently over 160 locations open under construction or in development. Officials with Van Horn and Cobblestone say this marks just one or just the first phase of a larger master plan development, which will include new residential and rental buildings. Smash burgers aren't an accident. They're a signature's offering of local press eatery coming soon to downtown Sheboygan. 
owner Greg Van Denmark, says his restaurant will offer handcrafted burgers in a casual atmosphere located at the former Harvest Cafe, which closed about a year ago. About that smashed burger, Van Denmark says that when a ball of fresh ground meat is smashed on the griddle, it takes on a unique caramelization finish that hopes will keep customers returning. Besides a sit-down area for dining carryouts and smashed burgers and panini sandwiches will also be available. Local Press Eatery opens later this month. And that's all we have for today. Join me again on Wednesday for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV. Thank you.